Hello and welcome for this new tutorial. As you can see, today it's Christmas, so Merry Christmas. So today, as it is a special day, we will see how to work with PCG, the Procedural Content Generator. It's a very powerful tool. Today we will just see how to create some foliage to the landscape. So let's dive into it. First of all, I will create a new empty map. In the new map, I will go to Window, then Envelope Mixer to add all the environment light for the map. To create a nice landscape, we need a landscape, so we'll create one. For the material, I use the auto material from CG Dealer. It's very good. Go check it out in nice. the description. To use PCG, I need to activate the PCG plugin. As I'm in the plugin, I will also activate the landmass and the water plugin. the assets from Dream Space Stylized Environment Tower. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. It's in the marketplace. I will create a new folder PCG and I will create a PCG graph called PCG underscore landscape foliage. You can see that by expanding the input, we can find the landscape data. From this landscape data, we will attach a surface sampler to create point on the landscape. We will use debug to check it out on the map. You can see that we have some point created on the landscape. From the surface sampler, we will add the node transform point that make us randomize the point and we will randomize the rotation and the scale of the point. Then we will add a density filter. The density filter will remove some point based on the density of the point. Now we can add the static mesh spawner to spawn a mesh on every point. We will add the grass in the mesh on tree and set up the mobility and collision preset. We can see that there is one patch of grass on each point. And we don't have enough grass, so I will remove the density filter and change the scale to find the best randomized scale.
create more points on the landscape, we can change the settings on the surface sampler. The point extends is the size of the point. Here it's 100 by 100 by 100. We will change it to 50 by 50 by 50. Then we can increase the point per square meter to create more point per square meter. We now have way more grass on our landscape. Now we still have one issue, is that our grass spawn on the landscape floor, so it will spawn on the water floor. To remove that, we will use the node difference. In the source, we plug the surface sampler, and on the difference, we will get the data from the water. To do that, we will use the get actor data. In the actor filter, we will put all world actor. In the actor selection, we will put by class, and the actor selection class will be our water body lay. Then we plug the out in the difference node. And here we are, the grass is removed from the lake floor. Then to improve our foliage, I want to add some flowers, so I will use a new static mesh spawner to spawn the flower and use a density filter node to reduce the number of flower spawn. In the mesh entry, I will add multiple flower mesh to have different flowers. And I found that the flower is a little bit too big, so I will duplicate the transform point and change the scale. And now it's perfect. We will do the exact same process for the trees. You can see that the trees normal are following the landscapes normal, so sometimes the tree gets shifted on the side. And to prevent that, I will go to the transfer point and select the absolute rotation. Now all of the trees are looking good. To finish, I will do the same process for the rocks.
I copied and pasted the PCG from the tree, so the rocks are spawning on the tree. It's because the seed in the surface sampler is the same. I will change it. But still you see that there is some rock that still spawn on some tree. I will fix that on the next video to keep this one simple. And now our landscape is looking very good. We have a very nice landscape. You can see that I changed the material on, on one of the tree. So it's looking very good. Nice. Here it is, the landscape looks incredible. The FPS is very good for a big landscape like that. I hope this little introduction on PCG helped you to use it. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss the next episode. And I will see you on the next video. Merry Christmas. Bye.